People, 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 good evening, good evening, good evening. You know who it is, Arsenio Buck, reporting live from Bangkok, man. Welcome back to the Arsenio Buck Show. Guys, I don't know what the hell's going on at this moment. Uh, you, first and foremost, huge shout out to France. Thank you so much for your support, especially on the different platforms that are out there. It's really amazing how you guys are coming on board. Also, shout out to my Cambodians and shout out to my Aussies, of course. So I'm just so thankful for having so many different people on there uh, who actually listen to me and whatnot. And I'm actually talking to Lisa Nichols right now uh, in terms of, well, I'm not sure in terms of getting her on my podcast and whatnot, but... Uh, she's, I'm trying to get like a marketing strategy out of her. And she asked me some of the best questions I've ever had in my life in terms of what markets are you trying to reach? What are you trying to do? And it was like seven questions and I was like, oh my God. So I just gave her the whole loaf and everything. And so there's a lot of good stuff that's happening right now. Um, uh, she's like, what's your budget and stuff like that. And I'm like, dude, do I have to market it or just do I just let my podcast market itself? You know what I mean? I don't want to market to the wrong places. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. I love my Americas out there. 40% of my listeners are from America uh, on all different platforms, excluding YouTube and whatnot. But you Americans know what trolls are. And that's basically, I guess, the description of the podcast today. Because trolling is basically you have all intent in the world, all the intent in the world to just piss whoever off you can. That's why there's a lot of internet trolls on different YouTube channels. That's why you have to stay away from a lot of sports forums, especially. uh, Sports channels, especially on YouTube, because all it is is just one big troll goddamn city. You're never going to agree on everything, and you're never going to be able to change the person's mind. So just stay away from that, because the thing is, these trolls are going to come back, and they're going to just keep bugging the hell out of you. And I had some internet trolls probably, I think, 6 to 12 months ago. And I remember this one African-American woman. She's like, you need to get off your high horse. It was something ridiculous about uh, racism in Asia. She was, she was saying something outlandish as hell. And there's some Chinese. Oh, my God. It was all – this is the thing because, you co- because I commented on something I shouldn't have been commenting on. Now, of course, that was 6 to 12 months ago. And, of course, I learned my lesson. Just block them. Get rid of them. You know what I mean? But how to deal with trolls, guys? Um, in terms of, you know, of course, Lisa Nichols, and of course, I didn't know what, exactly where I was going with everything, but in America, you guys know that there are a lot of internet trolls. There are 300 million Americans, and there are a lot of Americans who are really, really upset and discontent with their life. With discontent uh, drives insanity, and that insanity will be poured out in different forms, ultimately, of course, being online. And it's funny because... Even speaking about, for, um, like, you know, trolls and whatnot, man, they come in all different sizes and colors. This guy named Mac on the YouTube, uh, what is it, the YouTube channel, uh, the Hodge Twins, he said uh, he actually confronted one of it. Well, one of the trolls confronted him, and he said, hey, man, I said some stuff in the past about you that weren't really good and et cetera, et cetera. And he said he looked at this guy, and he said he had acne all over his face. He was skinnier than ever. He was tall, and he was just an ugly-looking individual. And guys, I mean, it doesn't matter what you look like. We're all life form. We all have energy. We are supposed to be giving out all these blessings and whatnot. But you have to realize that wherever these trolls come from, it has nothing to do with you and everything to do with their own insecurities. Honestly, do I reply to any of that? No. I mean, when was the last time I had someone on my channel that said, oh, (laughs) there was this guy from Georgia. Um, This had to be probably in February or March. But I told I made a podcast in terms of African-Americans always making, you know, basically excuses and always pointing fingers at others for the, you know, their basically their faults and whatnot. And this guy started commenting on my show live and he was like, oh, look at this coonery. Now, coon is basically. If you guys don't know what a coon is, a coon is basically, um, let, let's say if you guys have ever watched Django Unchained, right? You had Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson obviously being an African American. At that time in Django Unchained, he was a slave, but he was a house servant, right? And it's crazy because he treated the other African Americans like they were unbelievable, like they were slaves. But he too was African American too. So a coon is basically someone 
kind of just shoving away what they really are. It's some, it's something ridiculous. It's a very hateful term from those slavery days and whatnot. So it's basically, um, oh my god, I don't even know what to say. But it, it, you're basically standing up for Anglo-Saxons and Caucasians, for the lack of a better term, right? So I remember uh, that guy actually started commenting on my video, and I didn't understand who he was from Georgia, obviously, obviously being one of the most racist states in all of America, uh, with a lot of segregation still happening uh, there right now with white, you know, I guess you could say, quote unquote, what Americans say, white neighborhoods and black neighborhoods and all that crazy stuff. He was commenting, going crazy. And I was like, oh, my God, who is this guy? And so I just hurry up and blocked him because if I respond, no, I don't know if he was even listening to me, because if he was, he would have been responding to what I had to say. But because that show was live at that particular moment, he just started commenting. And of course, this has everything to do with him and his life in Georgia. It has nothing to do with me. So, trolls. Man, I've been, I was trolled tonight. I mean, I mean, to be honest with you, yeah, I was literally trolled by my own students tonight. Um, they were literally speaking in their language, speaking disgustingly about me. The entire class. And it's crazy because I just managed to just stay cool. And at that very end, they called me, like, basically uh, the B word and the W. You know what I mean? The W. Okay? They called me a whore, guys. They called me a prostitute. And I said, oh, Arsenio, you better calm your ass. You better calm that black ass down. Just calm down. You got to breathe, brother. You got to breathe. Just breathe for me. Breathe for me. Oh, Jesus. Breathe. You got to breathe that air. Because, boy, I was going to unleash an unbelievable bolt of lightning that would have struck down upon them with furious anger. As Samuel L. Jackson said once in Pulp Fiction. Uh, the path of the righteous man, I guess. Or I guess that's what it was. But anyways, I was trolled tonight. I kept cool. They said those last comments before they left. And right when that happened, it's amazing because... My other students, they were just so worried about me. It was about seven of them. They came up to me, and that was it. I lost it. And those were the good students, though. They came up to me. They're like, are you okay? And I unleashed it. I said, hey, check this out. Either this is going to happen, this is going to happen, da 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 Next Tuesday, y'all better be ready. Because if you think you could just call me names as a professional for whatever reason... Oh, no, 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 no. That's not going to fare well. That's not going to fare well. So there's going to be some decision making that's going to need uh, that's going to happen. But guys, just think about it. If I would have replied at that given moment, what would have happened? Who knows? Who knows? But the thing is, trolls, especially trolls, people who are just there to piss you off. And how is everything? You see what I mean? So, of course, that's kind of a that that's kind of a way that you can actually deal with it. It's just by ignoring. I mean, if you look at some of these channels, especially um boy, a lot of channels out there, especially weightlifting channels. Uh there there was one I think a while back, like 2 years ago, I would I would I watched one time and this was just pretty sick. Uh, a guy named Elgin Intensity, he would literally make videos about people not doing uh basically the, let's say the routine, their gym routine properly. Uh, in the gym, and he would say some of the most disgusting things imaginable, and it's crazy because apparently he probably still has that channel today, but that's what we call one of the ultimate trolls of humanity. See, spewing stuff out like that, all it is is just going to hurt you. So if I would have actually just stood there, you know what I should have done? I should have done what I promised myself to do, especially in terms of class, because this stemmed over the course of two days. Sorry, I'm just, I just went from literally working out to, like, <laughs> back to the situation. But two days, I'll go back to that. But two days ago, I let something basically roll over until literally, I, I should have just sat everyone down at one particular moment in class and say, listen, enough is enough. You're going to shut your mouth or I'm going to walk out of here. And I'm going straight to the HR's office and I'm putting filing a formal complaint against you guys. Done. Done. You know what I mean? But I didn't do that. I just let it keep continuing without literally just unleashing. An, well, it's not so much unleashing. It's just saying, hey, listen, you're selfish. You're repugnant. You're detestable. You're disgusting. You have an insidious agenda. I don't like you. Why do you keep speaking? I, oh, I could have just said a couple of things. I'd be like, are you done? Are you happy now? And, of course, she probably would have cried, and I'd be like, good, those are the emotions I want to see. Now, back to the lesson. See, guys, I let things just blow over real easily. You know what I mean? These are human beings. 
What's the worst that could happen? Yep, you got to get back to the Napoleon Hill, right? I'm sorry, not the Napoleon Hill, the Dale Carnegie. We have to get back and say and get back to it and say, you know what? What is the absolute worst that could happen? I mean, what? They're just going to keep talking, 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 talking until I just literally reach a boiling point and just blow up? That's probably what that's exactly what they want to happen. And you know what? It's going to come back and bite them in the ass. Just like if you guys respond to different trolls online, man, that's what happened to me just three years ago. There was a troll literally spewing out disgusting rhetoric towards African Americans. And it was unbelievable because at that specific moment, I retorted, and that's exactly what he wanted. He snapshot it, and he followed me on Facebook for a year and a half, guys. And literally, anytime I posted something in regards to a job... And somehow I put that on my Facebook and he could view it, I'd be in trouble. Because then he'd say, oh, excuse me, uh, uh, he would email these people who I would work with. He followed me for a year and a half, guys. This is what happens when you respond to trolls. Don't respond to them. I mean, what are they going to do? Are they, gonna, are they threatening your life? Are they knocking on your door? Are they trying to kill you? Are they going to kidnap you? And then what's the use? You know how many trolls Dwayne Johnson and all these other crazy pseudo stars, Hollywood stars, whatever you want to name them, these people who have a high social status and whatnot, do you know how many trolls are on there? Man, if you actually click the comment sections of a lot of these famous, uh, uh, quote unquote famous people on Instagram or Twitter, and you look at, oh, especially Instagram, literally the last five comments is always someone talking about sex.com. <laughs> You know what I mean? Just to get someone to click on some ridiculous links that lead to viruses. You know what I mean, guys? It's just everyone, you're going to have trolls, okay? Gary V, who's one of the ultimate in thug entrepreneurs out there. They call him the the they call him the uh the Wall Street thug, or whatever you want to call him, you know, because he just tells it how it is. He's very frank, very blunt, you know what I mean? Um and so how does he deal with trolls? He actually had a very funny way dealing with trolls. It's the funniest thing ever. Just, just hush it up. Move out your way and let people do their thing. Stop replying to comments on social media, guys. I mean, and stop replying. And if I had those horrible students three years ago, okay? And apparently I got some students now who are trying to piss me off for whatever reason too. But what's who? who is that making look like an ass? Them. And you know what? Six of my six of the students who saw my unbelievable anger as they left, they're probably in the group backing me up right now in that little line group, whatever you want to call it, saying, "Hey, you know what? He was unbelievably infuriated. You guys are in big trouble." There it is, man. There it is. I mean, they've said racist things. They said, "Man, those Thailand guys." I mean, they always say racist things. You know what I mean? Ah, anyways, guys, man. Again, this comment. Is one of, of course, we'd have to do a lot of research on it, but there's no research to do. How, why would you even respond to anonymous comments, especially on social media? Of course, I got this comment. I mean, this is the this is the question I got on social media, and I'm like, ultimately, well, first of all, what forums are you on? To whereas there are a bunch of trolls on there, and second, why are you even on there? You see what I mean? Like, like Gary Vee, he does have a lot of trolls, too. There's always people, especially on Facebook, a lot of ridiculous videos out there that get millions upon millions of views. And there's always someone trying to state the obvious just to get extra clicks and comments and to piss people off. Don't feed garbage, okay? You can't kick a dead dog. These anonymous users, these people who don't even have faces, let it go. They don't exist. Especially the ones that who don't have faces or, or, or a website or this or that. They're just there to piss you off because their lives are finished. They died already. And they're just waiting to be buried. Just remember that, guys. Don't even respond to it, okay? And stay off those horrible-ass forums, too. I don't go on those forums anymore. I don't go on. I need to stay away from garbage ESPN, the sports garbage forum, because of course there's always clickbait garbage. That whereas people, whereas this particular company will want people to comment, and if they don't like the comment, they would moderate it, report it to Facebook, and Facebook would ban that specific person. This is what these types of companies do. Stay away from all of that, and just focus on the beauty of this planet. Don't worry about meaningless shit. All right? <sighs> With that being said, 
letting some stuff, of course, off my chest was one of the biggest part of that uh, biggest parts of this podcast. But of course, a lot of people out there, man, you guys need help. You guys need help, man. Wherever you go, you're going to have people who hate you or people who dislike you or people who do, do this or do that. That's just how life is. So what you need to do is just remain cool, remain calm, and, and focus on your purpose, your real life purpose, and surround yourself with people who are going to help you. Not a bunch of goddamn anonymous clowns online. You know what I say? And with that being said, people, man, I am done. I am beat. It's 9.14. I've been up for about 17 hours. Hell of a beautiful day. Uh, wonderful day, regardless of the events that unfolded. I could give a damn about those ridiculous ass uh, of remedi- non- remedial yokels. And with that being said, people, I just want to give a nice shout out to everyone, as I've already done. And again, I'm just so grateful. Uh, a lot is going on. A lot of great things are opening up. And hey, got to book a plane ticket real soon. And I'm actually, I just found out, apparently, sorry guys, I'm just closing this podcast out right now. So bear with me. I didn't even know Eva Air was part of Taiwan. I thought Eva was like from Europe. Did you guys know that? Eva Air, did you know it was from Europe? Hell no. It's from Taiwan? I didn't even know that. Anyways. I'm going to fly Cathay Pacific because I trust Cathay Pacific much more. And I've always wanted to fly on that particular airline because that just sounds like such a sexy name. Anyways, going to book that plane ticket, baby. We going back to America. We going back to America for cheap. We getting it cracking, baby. Oh, guys, stay tuned for the next wonderful podcast coming tomorrow morning. It's going to be sexy. It's going to be good. And it's time for me to close this bad boy out because I am dying. With that being said, people, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. This is your host, Arsenio. As usual, over and out.